What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're getting into a full-on video shot entirely on the 11 Pro Max, including the audio, so everything you see, hear, whatnot, is on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and this right now is the front-facing camera, so uh, I'll be sure to let you know with little indicators or whatnot uh, which one we're using, but hey, let's get started. So I figured I had to run some errands, and right now we're using the wide-angle lens on the rear camera. And I thought I'd take you guys along and, you know, capture some footage during that whole process. So, um, yeah, let's get going. Let's get out of here. One thing I should mention is that everything is just handheld. Like, there's no special tools involved. I am just pointing the camera at my face or at something and shooting like a normal person. Heading into Target. Now one of the things I've noticed here that it's pretty cool, you can dynamically switch between the different lenses like on the fly, which is pretty tight. It's a weird thing to come to Target for, I guess, but I needed some tape. I cannot go to Target without making one stop. The tech department. You again, too. Okay, so it's kind of windy right now, so this will be a good test to see how the bike handles that. But uh, all done with Target, got the tape. Gotta make it. So one thing I did notice about the stabilization from the last clip is, wow, that was crazy. That was so freaking stable. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. I gotta be honest, I mainly came to Walmart so I could look at some toys. So Walmart didn't really have what I was looking for, but we are now at Home Depot. We've got to pick up a couple things. I'm trying to build a contraption at my office, so we'll see if this all comes together and works. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. All right, so we're back on the front facing camera, heading out of Home Depot. A little windy, I got a bag full of stuff and uh, you know, try to put something together. On my way back to the office now, a couple things I have noticed about this camera is A, the main lens is like stupid stable, like very, very stable. So uh, if you're using that, just shooting, I mean, whichever direction you're shooting in, it's a very stable lens. Now, right now I have the camera mounted on my, I have like a little windshield mount, so. I just wanted to see how well that uh, main lens actually stabilizes the footage as I'm driving. Because I can see the phone shaking a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. But yeah, I mean, overall, the camera here, for video anyway, so far has been pretty good. Now the main twist to this entire video is the fact that, well, since I'm shooting everything on the iPhone, hell, I might as well edit it on the iPhone, right? Let's do the full package from beginning to end and just edit the entire video on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm gonna use LumaFusion um, and I, I have some confidence actually, you know, I, I don't think that this is gonna be a very hard task, but I'm interested to see what you think about everything that you've seen and everything that you will see in this video. Let me know in the comments section below and be sure to check out my 48 hours with the iPhone 11 Pro Max video. If you haven't yet, that link is in the description as well. All right, so we are back inside on the front facing camera and I'm about to do some modifications on this uh, stand right here because 
I have other uses for it, so let's go. This is tough to saw through. <laughs> so essentially what I'm trying to do is drill a hole through this uh, rod, basically. This, is, this actually holds up, it's a light stand, and I wanna mount it to the ceiling so I can swing it back and forth. And uh, I know you probably don't care about much of this, but it's a good way to test the camera. All right, so I know I didn't like show the whole process of this because it was kind of involved with like a lot of a lot of drilling and a lot of sawing and stuff like that. But I've hung a key light from the ceiling and I just gotta uh, tap into this uh, little box right here to get some power to it. But you can see here that we just have it on a little hook. So I can unhook it and I can swing it down and now it becomes a functional light that I can use. And it's on a light stand, which is mounted up here. So I can easily drop the height if I need to. So one thing that I did notice actually while shooting video is that if you are on FaceTime and you are using the rear lens, it actually allows you to use the ultra wide angle lens, which is pretty cool. You have no options to switch between any of them, but I feel like it makes a lot of sense having the ultra wide on the rear camera for FaceTime. Now, if you thought we were gonna do this whole thing without a low light video test, I got one more thing for you. So clearly you can see that, I mean, as great as these cameras are without light and with a bunch of wind and like just awkward situations, they're not gonna be the greatest. real though if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button because I'm out here in the rain testing these cameras for you it is starting to get pretty rainy out here so let's test the stabilization while I run back to the office and see how well this camera is stabilized I'm like straight up running right now Ooh, it's dark in here very dark <laughs> So my power is completely out. It's like storming out, but I thought this was a good time to see how, well, the um, night mode works because it's pitch black in here. So let's, let's see how that works out. All right, so you can easily see that like, this is the extent of the light in here, basically. Everything else, it's pitch black in here. Bump out to the wide angle lens, video quality probably just went down a notch, but let's see how Night mode works with this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a few photos. All right, now it is stupid dark in here, but some of those photos are pretty amazing, actually, just seeing as how there's virtually no light in here except a couple of lights that just have rechargeable batteries in them. That was intense. I wasn't kidding when I said I'm gonna edit the video on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So we have LumaFusion pulled up here and I'm recording this with the iPhone 11, but you can see that uh, to a full-on video shot entirely on the 11 Pro Max, including the- So we're gonna, we're gonna continue editing this. Which one we're using, but hey, let's get started. So really that little tidbit was just to show anybody who doesn't believe that I have fully edited this video on here, it definitely happened. All right, and I am just about finished. So uh, yeah, my battery has like 5% left, but here we go. So there you have it everyone, a whole freaking day with the iPhone 11 Pro camera. For more photo links, definitely be sure to check the gallery in the description. But I wanna know what you think about this whole thing from start to finish in the comment section below. What did you like the most? Which lens did you like? Do you like photo or video better? I think we're getting to the point here where smartphones 
have replaced point and shoots, at least from what I've seen during editing this entire video. So I'm very, very happy with, with what came out of here, but I wanna know your thoughts as always, and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. This is Dom, and I will catch you in the next video.